everyone and welcome back to World of Worship and Let's Talk's news and today very uh, few information and thoughts about the game. It will come very soon a new captain, a new elite captain shall I say. I don't know guys if this captain will be like Yamamoto, you know, um, uh, campaign that at the end of the campaign you might receive this captain I have no idea some rumors said that some elite captains you can purchase them uh, with calls over 100,000 coal let me know in a comment below if it's the right way I believe it's the wrong way to go if Wargaming decides to um, release new badass captains with coal and not few uh, bottles of, of them only available for the extreme players that who have lots and lots of time to spend the game and receive their call because after all call it's limited how much you can uh, uh, gain so this german badass captain will have several uh, features i do believe it's a great captain for the german battleship it has one time acceleration for secondary armor reload time so you gain uh, faster secondary reload time after receiving the rib of second round armament so it's a very easy to receive this if you have let's say a bismarck or a high tier german battleship and one time acceleration with the main armament reload time gain after receiving the ribbon of the main armor hits which is also extremely easy now something kind of important the restoration of hit points gain after receiving ribbons for spotting enemies this talent works uh, similarly of the repair party consumable and can be achieved rapidly which basically not just one time you can receive it uh, many times during the game um, uh, restoration of hit points it's not bad and also have some other perk uh, the one-time acceleration aircraft uh, restoration time so you gain faster uh, restoration time of the aircraft uh, and then beside that this captain also have a, a main feature uh, the prevented maintenance expert markman and improve engine boost skills so let me know in the comment below i do believe it's a great captain once and once again i know i don't know what this captain will cost if there will be uh, you know doubloons uh, mission like a yamamoto or coal have no idea uh, so guys before we're gonna uh, talk about the British uh, heavy cruiser bad for a tier 8 premium I would like to say that in my honestly opinion Wargaming have one of the biggest failure of all the releases so far what I'm trying to say it's I do believe guys without saying too much and many of you uh, guys uh, agree with me that the Italian cruiser line was a big failure and of all the releases we're giving uh, did uh, the, the those ones was the biggest failure um, not so many um, uh, players are hype about uh, extremely low uh, dpm a cruiser's role is to load those guns and provide fire support for your ally um, you may argue that japanese cruiser also have a low dpm but the thing is Japanese uh, cruiser even though they had a reload uh, slow they have an extremely high percentage to put your enemy on fire uh, let's say uh, for instance the Zhao has pretty darn bad DPM damage per minute however it's a fire starter and sometimes you can achieve more than 10 fires 15 fires you name it in Zhao uh, because almost each and every salvo there's a huge percentage you put your enemy on fire and uh, so on but the thing is that with the Italian cruiser you cannot 
put anything on fire the only dot uh, fire can come is from your second which are close to zero and your torpedo which the only thing but the torpedo are kind of a slow even though they are workable it's different story guys with the uh, uh, bedford which has extremely high percentage to put your enemy on fire hard hitting and in some ways guys they have the same reload as say tier 8 Italian cruiser um, but you have way bigger caliber guns and you have at tier 8 bet for have super heal what is super heal between the tier 7 uh, let's say um, uh, silver touch three line uh, heavy cruiser the British heavy cruiser and tier 8 you have eight times more HP regenerator per second so uh, yeah uh, I would like to say for some of you who like to um, grind a new uh, cruiser line I highly recommend you wait uh, just a couple more weeks and probably I'm just saying probably um, near uh, Christmas you might uh, able to uh, play with the British heavy cross I'm just saying this is my gut feeling probably will be later in, in the beginning of next year probably so we have also a new badass Soviet the battleship uh, Borantino it looks very Italian uh, with 460 millimeters guns uh, it's from a battleship uh, Soviet so Sovetsky Soyuz uh, it's a very good ship I don't know why it's tier 8 and probably like to say that we're giving this side to you know face copy you know like Alabama uh, and many other uh, battleship they have premium and they have the same hole and you know some tweaks and there you have it a brand new premium of battleship I'm not gonna talk too much about this because I frankly like to say that one of the best releases in uh, World Warships uh, history it was actually uh, who would I guess the um, Soviet battleship uh, they are the one in my honestly opinion they do their own job good um, um, hard hitting guns which increase the accuracy closer you are so you're not a long range HE spammer like Concord yours the other way around you want, want to come close you want to use your uh, improved uh, accuracy and you know delete everything uh, uh, ahead of you because you have the armor and definitely have a big uh, guns and same thing uh, guys I'm not talking about the hit points which is pretty damn good plating main armament 2x3 406 millimeters they're fine range 19.6 it's okay a workable not crazy good but it's definitely workable and chance to put your animal fires only 40% because what the hell not um, H is uh, AP shell speeds 830 and same story with the HE maximum AP damage 13,250 and reload time it's 30 second 180 degree turn time it's 30 second uh, maximum dispersion it's 256 and Sigma only 1.9 and over here you also see the AA, a mid-range, long-range, uh, which is decent, shall I say. At mid-range it's more than decent, 356 hits uh, uh, percent between 0 0.1 and 4%, uh, 4 kilometers are um, good. However, long-range are crap. You see 203, 356 and 42, so long-range from 4.0 to 5.8 it's kind of a crap AA to be honest with you um, um, the flak are great maximum speed 31.6 which makes this one of the fastest battleship in this game I mean I'm sure the Bismarck and many others are r reaching that 31 but 31.6 it's not slow battleship in matter of fact it's a pretty speedy one turning radius it's crap rudder shift is Ah, mech surface 17.5 it's mech air detection 11.8 it's math uh, consumable guys you only have damage count you have the repair party 
but the thing is what it's kind of a uh, here duration time 28 second and HP er, uh, per seconds 321 heal per second which is pretty nice I do believe it's better than normal stuff reload time 120 or 80 with uh, the uh, premium consumable so guys we have a new badass heavy British tier 8 um, cruiser with 234 uh, percent 234 <laughs> millimeters uh, main armament I believe guys without saying too much I very much lo looking forward the uh, um, British heavy cruisers because once again all tier 8 heavy cruiser from tier 8 9 and 10 they have super heal I have no idea why in the whole world uh, Edinburgh at tier 8 has a mediocre heal she's a light cruiser for crying out loud and does not have any armor whatsoever uh, something else also keep that in mind guys that uh, from tier 8, 9 and 10 the uh, Royal Navy cruiser will have one of the biggest caliber guns I cannot come up with bigger caliber than 234 millimeters guns sure you paid with kind of a crappy range but I do honestly believe guys that they are not quite paper armor 25 millimeters plating we don't know their citadel or stuff like that but you know I have no idea or how squishy they are hit points 42,500 it's all right for a tier 8 main armor 3 by 2 fine range is 15.7 it's actually even closer or worse than a Belfast for, or Fiji for crying out loud which is tier 7 maximum HE shell speed uh, damage or 3350 so pretty big percent to put your enemy on fire only 21 percent this is without camo this is without expert markman or other perk or uh, flags 21 percent flat which guys it's absolutely broken 881 meters per second is the AP and HE shells and the maximum AP damage 5515 um, reload time it's 15 second guys so once again this tier 8 bad boy have the same reload or even faster than the Italian cruiser and I would like to say no matter what kind of shells you uh, you're using if you're using AP or um, shall I say the HE shells you do more damage each and every salvo than um, tier 8 um, Italian cruiser can ever dream about and by the way Italian cruiser does not have super heal this thing has and also uh, something also else has a little bit more torpedo power we'll just uh, come to that right now does the Sigma it's 2.05 and maximum dispersion 141 so uh, the accuracy are absolutely fantastic uh, now 180 degree turn time 18 second are amazing for this big chunk of huge caliber Torpedo reload you have four in each side and they are 533 millimeters and they do maximum damage 16,767 and the range are 10 kilometers and the speed 62 um, even though you only have four in each side remember you can launch them one by one by one like any other um, you know British destroyer or uh, British cruiser which they can make a little bit more dangerous versus a huge large target uh, because 16,700 is not bad torpedo hit in my opinion it's all right for its tier for tier 8 um, so yeah reload time it's a ridiculous 96 seconds um, so yeah th that there you have it also uh, and then uh, the torpedo detection is 1.3 A defense guys uh, you have the strongest at definitely short and mid range long range it's all right not crazy the flag arts pretty damn good now you do not have the 
uh, a defense however the continuous uh, damage per second it's not bad for tier as a matter of fact this is pretty damn strong I have no idea please let me know comment below guys if you think about um, the short range and mid uh, range but over here is probably the best damage per minute is 228 hits and 90 percent uh, chance to to hit uh, and the extra zone is 0 0.1 to 13.3.5 and the long range is 168 I would like to say it's definitely pretty damn decent I mean you're not an AA monster but you're not absolutely um, useless like the Italian cruiser I do believe that in a department you have at least twice as good AA uh, if you compare it with the Italian cruiser maximum speed are pretty nifty I mean 34 knots it's not the slowest the turning radius it's 720 and rudder shift 10.5 I understand the rudder problem it's not the the best thing but here is what makes this ship kind of a broken and there is the damn concealment now at tier 8 you can put the concealment module and uh, captain which you will have this um, um, huge heavy battleship uh, guns almost super heavy cruiser under 10 kilometers in uh, concealment uh, which makes her probably the best conceal um, cruiser at your eight I'm not talking about light cruiser I'm talking about heavy cruiser let me know in a comment below guys what you think about this OP shall I say um, concealment of 12.4 and air detection it's only 7.7 .7. and detection of the fire in the, sm in the sm smoke 7.7 .7. it's crazy good matter of fact this huge caliber guns has lower firing range of main guns in the smoke than let's say tier 8 Italian cruiser with the smoke so yeah but what makes this kind of a cruiser special guys it's this damage count on repair parting duration you have whopping 850 um, HP regenerate per second and that it's a super heal guys and you also have hydro but you do not have any smoke you have hydro search which is long uh, duration 180 seconds but it's kind of a short range <laughs> And then guys, I don't have no idea why, but probably the word give me it's doing more coal and arsenal uh, ships. We we have, um, uh, shall I say, copy paste ships and that it's the new tier 9 uh, battleship uh, Bayer and cruiser Wong. They are based blistery on Japanese battleship Izumo and the French cruiser Charles Martel. So both of those two ships will be a tier 9 premium ships, Pan-Asian ships. Um, so what they are, the uh, Pine, uh, the Pan-Asian um, Izumo, that's the thing, it's what, what it is, will have the main battery armament with higher accuracy and firing range. So you better accuracy and fire range which is balanced with increased main battery load and turn time so you have a crappier um, reload and a crappier uh, uh, turret traverse speed that's what I'm trying to say so you have 23.1 kilometers in range and also Sigma goes from 2.0 to 2.1 and the reload of your guns from 30 to 32 this is the the new uh, shall I say uh, Pan-Asian uh, battleship Izumo battleship and uh, 180 degree turn time increase from 40 to 45 I'm not a fan of those uh, copy faced uh, ships. Um, now, the tier 9 uh, Wukong, <laughs> Wukong, <laughs> 
will literally be um, Charles Mattel with deep water torpedoes and torpedo reload booster, which is pretty nice. Probably with something different, guys. So the main battery reload time reduced from 11 to 10.5, which is nothing. Um, equipment with deep water torpedo that cannot hit the destroyer torpedoes or only three in each side. So you have two by three, 550 millimeters and damage, um, maximum damage is 18,400 and the range are 12 kilometers. Mm, I do believe this is a better range than the Charles Mattel's, right? I do, I do believe so. 12 km is not bad, 63 knots, it's alright, reload time 110 uh, second. Torpedo detection, it's 0 0.8, which basically you have close to zero time to react. You only have three in each side, so it's not a, um, a, a spam torpedo. However, you do have a torpedo reload booster consumable. Uh, that makes the torpedo even more dangerous. Torpedo tubes reload time 8 seconds and uh, reload time is 360 to 240. So even though you launch 3, you in 8 seconds you have available uh, once again 3 in each side. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm not saying too much. This new uh, Panasian uh, Charles Mattel, it's definitely different. Uh, and you do have, shall I say, pretty, pretty dangerous torpedoes with this uh, torpedo reload. So th those ships will be um, dedicated to Lunar New Year celebration. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, the Charmatel's Panasian will be uh, pretty interesting. Um, but guys, I have no idea why Wargame decide to uh, tweaks uh, the existence ships and make them premium so you and me uh, want to hype and uh, pay buttloads of money I'm not quite so hype about when there is you know uh, tweaked um, uh, ships already in the game and you mm, rename them in another name and put another nation let me know in the comment below what you think. But the most hype I'm definitely about the this uh, badass uh, heavy uh, British heavy cruiser. I believe, guys, without saying too much, they are be. I have no idea how to explain, but they are be like mini conquers all over the place. Every single cruiser from probably tier four all the way to tier ten will be uh, pretty interesting. And especially for tier eight and tier ten, they will have super heal. They will not have smoke, so no smoke with N uh, HE. But um, uh, the downside with there, it's definitely guys, it's the range, the, the, the lack of range. However, you have one uh, sneaky uh, bugger. What I'm trying to say, there is advantage that you have short range. Basically, when you open fire, you will not be spotted from the moon and back. Uh, for a battleship to shoot you, the, uh, the battleships needs to come within this 15.7 kilometers or has to ha have a destroyer nearby to that cruiser to engage that cruiser otherwise she's invisible for the enemy team that's that's the thing so it's a good bad things uh, situation guys uh, let me know in the comment below what you think about this um, um, this bad boy and the uh, general the um, the British super heavy cruiser line. Uh, thanks guys for watching and um, once again, good to talk to you once again. Have a good one, take care and bye.